Hey guys, Astro Prime here and welcome back to Palo. We're here at our breeding farm and I got so much things to show you guys. Um super excited because I have I finally got really in-depth into the breeding system and I'm very happy guys. By the way, I have now two breeding pens. I realized that because of how the breeding system works, it's pretty good to have like two projects happening at the same time. Um but you guys may notice that I'm actually cross-breeding a lot. So this should kind of give a hint about what we've been up to. Why is my Mumu count like kind of there? Never mind. Um, but before I get to that, let me show you guys is our first purely, uh, you know, bred like super, you know, super pal. I don't even know what to call it, but it was such a tough one to actually breed Ace out. Um, this is my um, Van Worm. He is a runner, which has a 20% increased movement speed. Plus Swift, which is a 30% increased movement speed. He has Ferocious, which, uh, which is a 20% attack. And Muscle Hit, which is a plus 30% attack. Guys, um, this is my specimen. Now, that's the reason why I'm calling him Ace. Now, I've, I've named most of my bird Pokemon Ace anyway. Like, Ace is just like the perfect bird name for me. Um, this is a masterpiece. I it, it took me quite a bit, um, quite a lot of work to try and get this guy out. And then, but we finally have it. Um, a lot of his um, siblings and shit are, are kind of like um, templates to some of this breeding that we're doing right now. So we have a Van Worm here that is breeding with a Broncherry. Um, one of his, uh, they already made a cake already. Uh, sorry, a cake, sorry, uh, egg. Let me show you guys what pops out from the egg. Now, unfortunately, this is not the first time I've popped this out. Um, I have actually popped it out before, but let me just show you guys so that you guys can experience it as well. This is a Foxicle. So, okay, it took Swift, which is great. Uh, foxicles are really really cool looking things. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Um, oops, now there's a quiver which I finally caught. Let me sort shit out. Uh, where is Foxicle? Crap. Yeah, so this was my first Foxicle. Uh, Ferocious Swift and then Stronghold Strategist uh, Swift, so not too bad. Um, look at this beauty, guys. This is beautiful. This Foxicles are great looking things. Um, I did breed the two of them with the intention of our end game, which I'm not gonna spoil it f uh, for you guys for now. Um, honestly, by the time I upload this episode, Pelworm might be already like what three months old, so maybe you guys already know what I'm aiming for. But um, Van Worm can breed with Foxico for a very special subspecies, which I really want as my end game. Um, the reason I'm not doing it now is because I I'm not high enough level to get the saddle anyway. So, but I am preparing a couple of Foxicos just in case. Uh, so that's one. And there is this other one right here, which is a large electric egg. Um, I mean, the electric part will probably hint to you at what this is going to be. Uh, we're going to hatch this. This is going to be the first time I'm hatching, but I already know what is coming because I did use the calculator. This is a... Oh, God! Yeah, oh, nice. This Rayhound wrote a Ferocious Swift. So this is our first time getting a Rayhound. Um, Rayhound is also one of those mods. Okay, I actually kind of forgot what I wanted Rayhounds for. But here he is. So this is Rayhound. Looking pretty good. Kind of looks like a... What's it called? A Minetric or an Electric. So yeah, this is Rayhound. He's a Ray... I don't need Rayhound to breed with something else to give me something else. I, I, for the life of me, I cannot remember anymore. All I knew is I needed a Rayhound, so I started breeding this too. Now, I'm going to leave these two pairs um, kind of just there. I do have a stockpile of um, cakes. So you see, I have two cakes right here. So now the idea of what I'm planning to do at this point is I'm just going to leave these two pairs um, always breeding. And every time I, uh, once in a while when I come back and I, when I take a look, if the bar is filled, I can actually pop a cake in and it's going to uh, produce an egg. And then I can grab that egg and then I can head off here and then after that, uh, hatch it for another foxicle or another rayhound. So this way we can kind of have the breeding happening in the background uh, every once in a while. So that's a muscle hit stronghold strategist, brave one. So that foxicle is not too bad. And then when this one, you see, so this one is ready as well. So now this one is ready, we can actually head over here, grab another two of my cakes. I'm going to leave one in here actually. And then we can go hatch it. So this is the kind of loop that I've been going into. This is this was the loop that I was... Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, so when I built this second pen, I actually had all Van Worms because I was really trying to speed up, uh, increase the chance that we can get like the perfect Van Worm. Um, so that actually worked out for us because that kind of inc uh, doubled the chance that a perfect Van Worm came out. Um, so I kind of have this two, two set up already. So let's grab this. Yep, so it's kind of good to have two uh, pens because you can have two projects going on. And as long as you have... So here's the thing. I do have uh, Ragnarok out there. The reason is because Ragnarok is a level 3 kindling guy. Um, he actually produces a lot of cakes really quickly. So if you have a level 3 kindling and above, I, I'm not sure if there's an above, 
uh, they do produce cakes pretty pretty well so um, it is something that you want to pay attention to if you guys want to get into the whole breeding thing two pans is really good uh, you can still have just one cooking pot and one Ragnar hot kind of producing the cakes and you should have enough to kind of uh, produce eggs on both fronts for now for now so I'm not sure whether this is gonna last but for now it seems enough so yeah so that's the breeding area done so the I, I think our entire breeding farm is stable enough so in case for those of you who haven't been joining us for the journey and you guys just want the lowdown of it um, if you have two ranches, make sure you have a couple of cows. Um, actually, to be honest, if you have one ranch, is enough. As long as that ranch is ho uh, is hosting a bigard, a chicken, a cow, and because you need so many eggs, I would recommend two chickens actually. Because for each recipe of a cake, you do need um seven milk, eight eggs. Um, you can decide the honey is the one that you need the least, so you only need probably one bigard. Um, and then between the chicken and the cows, you're gonna decide how many you want. And then of course, you're gonna need a wheat farm right here. Um, and a wheat meal and that's going to produce all the wheat uh, all the flour you need and then from there on with the berries you should have a lot of berries by then you should have enough to make all the cake you need uh, you add that with a level uh, 3 kindling mon and you are good to go for the food department and then once you have this two you should be solid and ready to get some serious breeding going on um, and, and of course the incubator so this is the super lowdown of like setting up a functional breeding uh, setup Honestly, a lot of these things you probably can get set up by level 25 actually, uh, maybe level 28, I guess. Most of these core things are unlocked uh, there already. I'm very concerned about my Muzerina. He is lagging, is he not? Nah, he's kind of still producing things. I'm going to reset both Muzerina, I guess. Oops, shit. Should not have done that. Crap. Okay, let's reset the two Muzerina. I'm just going to, yeah, so... Muzerinas, yeah, that one was stuck there. Guys, do take note. Um, so I definitely have plans to move my base. This is much too small a space. Um, if you notice that your pals keep getting stuck, it's because things are too cluttered. You notice that I moved my statue away because I realized that my statue used to be here, right? It was actually blocking this pathfinding here, and sometimes pal may wander here and get stuck. Um, you need to be, you need to pay super close attention to like potential choke points and stuck points. Uh, they do give a hint at, uh, you know where where your choke points are what might be getting pal stuck you notice that as even as i'm talking this thing is already filling up uh, i'm not going to tempt myself to stay here there's a lot of things we want to do so let me show you guys what we have uh made in this side as well so uh in our farm base uh, sorry our metal base nothing much has changed uh we do have this thing going on here so this is our production line so the production line here takes uh replaces our high quality uh workbenches you'll notice that i already have something going on here this is the giga shield so you can see all of the recipes that you would have gotten from the high quality workbench is available in the uh, production line as well. So this is kind of like a replacement. Let's replace this with the Giga Shield, discard this as well. So now we have a very uh, very much bigger shield. I've also went ahead to make a cold resistant armor in case we ever... I feel like we're about to wander into like snowy areas. Um, I do know where the snowy area are but I'm not sure if we will reach there today. But yeah, so that's about all we have added in terms of this particular base. Uh, guns wise, we are able to unlock the handgun right now. So you'll notice that the handgun is right here. However, this handgun is you uh is crafted on a weapons workbench. Um I'm not sure if I really want the handgun because I'm pretty sure it, it does much lesser per shot damage. I'm actually weirdly comfortable with the musket actually, because um, you know, our pals do most of the damage. So I'm not sure if I need that actually. But yeah, so that is really the major thing that has happened here. Uh, someone is upset and not willing to do any tasks, which is bad. I realize my uh, my big toises are... They've been giving me a lot of problems. Like, a lot of them seem to be, like, on a strike right now. I don't know why. I didn't do anything. Like, I've been, I've been nothing but nice. I don't know, man. They're unhappy people. But alright. Anyway, um, I, I, I hope... It oh, it's stuck. Ah, bollocks. You see, this is why. So you see, this guy's stuck right now. Um, yeah, I can't tell. So usually when you notice that... Okay, so on the top right hand side, if you notice that pals are kind of unhappy, unwilling to do anything, haven't eaten things in a while, that's usually your cue. Uh, what I like to do is I like to just reset them. So I will just uh, you right click and left click and then you'll just reset both of them. And you let the AI take over and the AI will just basically send them to whichever need. You know, they need the most. So yeah, that's... I mean, just another tip for the base building uh, builders among you. But alright, enough of the base building. We are here for exciting things. So today I'm going to have a little bit of a mixture. Um, first of all, we are going to go and deal with a couple of pals. So I feel comfortable enough, even though we have new pals. I want to try and take on 
a couple of the level 30 mons. This is gonna be a big regret. I feel like I'm, I might get served. Uh, but we will give it a try regardless. So, um, where is it? Alright, we're gonna try and take on the Warsack first. Now, I'm very mindful that my strongest pal, which is, you know, my... Um, wait, where the hell did it go? Right, this way. Nope, this way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, so I'm mindful that my strongest pal is actually not level up at this point. However, I'm not overly con- Oh, come on. But the gob fins are in the way. Okay, we're gonna just YOLO and go on in. Alright, so let's hop in. So this is gonna drop us straight into the battle. We're gonna send out Ictadir first, I guess. So, convenience. Ah! Alright, so Ictadir is gonna send a rock as well. Whoa! Alright. Whoa! Okay, so his weak spot is not the head, actually, if you think about it. Which makes all the sense in the world, but... Alright, nice. Uh, you didn't manage to dodge that. Oops. Shit. Alright, so he's coming. Okay, this guy is cool, though. I want one of him. Wow, Iktadir tossed him off so good. Good job, Iktadir. Yeah, um, Iktadir might be my next project, but the problem is Iktadir is... I, I don't know if I'm going to keep... Dear dear mon. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so that was a good dodge. Okay, so let's let help with the dodge. Nice. Alright. Oh, one one ones. Okay, so Ictadia is almost down soon. Nice hit. Good job, big boy! Okay, so Ictadia is kind of low on the health department soon. Oh, that hit though. Yo, Ictadia is a carry. He's doing so much. Alright, he's gonna fly. Let's dodge that. Alright, nice. That's a good dodge. Whoa. No, big boy. Alright, nice. So we dodge that. Toss that out. Alright, so Rock Pro is coming in. Nice hit. Oh god, shit, I didn't dodge that in time. Alright, so he's gonna fly in. Woo! Yes. Alright, so now again. Whoa, crap, the shoe took it. Alright, nice dodge. Let's test him out. Set him out. So, Ictadia is almost down in the health department. Oh crap, I couldn't dodge. I don't know why. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, so that was bad. He's stuck right there. Oh, that KO. That's cool. Oh, that hit. Let's dodge that. I, I need my shield back up. Pull him back. Alright, send Ectodia out again. What the? Alright, nice. So Ectodia is almost down. Let's pull him back. We'll send out Ferret right now. Sorry, chill it, not Ferret. <laughs> Pew! Okay, let's send him back. Nice. Alright, so we are definitely. Oh shit! We're definitely at the part of the game where, as you can see, we are relying a lot on more on our pals and not necessarily our damage. Uh, which is right in a sense because at the end of the day, it's called Pal World, not like, you know, Human World. So it makes all the sense in the world that we should be relying on our pals. Alright, chill it. Come on. Come on, big boy. What are you doing? Oh, nice. Fire now. Alright, so he's almost half health right now. Okay, nice. Ice. Awesome. Oops, let's get out of there. Okay, don't chill it to be taking that kind of hits. Alright, let's dodge. Oh, crap! Oh, man. Nah, that was a mistake. Whoa. Alright, nice hits on from Chillet. Nice. Alright, so he's almost to the 1k mark. And Chillet is still very healthy. So obviously for this uh insect his head is armored. So his head is actually not a weak spot. 
Which makes all the sense in the world if I'm doing well. Let's pull him back. Send him out. 939. Let's dodge that. Alright, nice. Oof. Oh crap, the ice! Come on, chill it. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna try and avoid the bullet seed thing because the bullet seed actually does surprisingly amount of, uh, amount of damage. The razor leaf is alright for us to take the hit. 669, we're almost there. Shit! Oh, that dodge. That dodge. Alright, let's pull him out. So Chiller's almost down on the health department. We might have to change to Lee's Punk soon. Actually, no, we should change to Lee's Punk now because Lee's Punk still does a lot of damage. So we can start picking on the damage now from the dark hits. What is that? Whoa! This new. So Lee Spang somehow learned like crazy new attacks. Oh look at him, he is. Yeah, Lee Spang is being a beast. We need to be very careful with the attack. Man. Yowch. Okay, let's pull him back. This is very dangerous. Okay, so 84. Alright, so let's get ready to dodge. Okay, so we need to get ready to take out the... Okay, we can't really reload now. Okay. I don't want to use my pals anymore because the chances of us accidentally killing is very, 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 very high. Wow, that's zero point. Okay, so let's change to the green. 6%. Ah, uh, that's within reason. Nice. Alright, there we go! Ultra hard armor surrounding his body is extremely strong and heat resistant. Even a napalm blast will hardly leave a scratch. Hard skin. Cool. And we level up too, which is awesomest. Possumest. Let's get more health. Alright, nice. So that was. Oh, we learned. Okay, yeah. So that gave um, our ace a lot of levels, which is awesome. Guys, so the thing is, because of how the crossbreeding system works, as long as you have your first um, quote unquote ace. Um, I'm pretty sure you would have been, you will be able to find a way to pass down those genes downwards towards like the offsprings and then kind of almost like fully daisy chain all of those uh, down. Um, I'm pretty sure it can happen. I have not actually tried it out so I can't be 100% on it. But based on how the system works, theoretically it should be okay. So, but then again, a lot of these things I'm going to explore further as I uh, play this game. It is a phenomenal game. <laughs> Super phenomenal, if it's not obvious enough by now. Um, Alright, so that was the war sack. I think we definitely have time for one more boss, don't you think? So that was a level 30. I still have not found a Feng Lok yet. I want to see if we can try the Relaxerous Lux. Uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, these are all level 31s. So that war sack was level 30. We're done with that one. Um, well, there's always the Broncherry Aqua. Which we could try. Yeah, you know what? Let's try the Broncherry Aqua. Um, yeah, I think our Pell should be a-okay. Yeah, I feel like I want to take on the Broncherry Aqua from here. Um, it's very irritating that I can't find the Firm Loop. Uh, we... Should we go try find it again? Oh, by the way, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have not shown you guys this. Uh, let me just show you guys what having an ace is like. This thing flies so fast. Look at this guy. I mean, even if I don't hold shift, just normal. As you can see, we're replenishing. Uh, yeah, it is significantly faster, guys. Honestly, I know I complained about how slow the flyers are. Um, this is the answer. So, all you need to do is to really go ahead and find, um, like the passives that can serve you well. Usually, the speed passives. And once you have some of those in place, you are golden, guys. You are going so fast. Which is super awesome. And as usual, the Broncherry is not here. This is frustrating. See, the thing is, I still don't know if it's... I don't feel like it's tied to a cave. I, I, I think we've established this already, that it's not tied to a cave. This is very frustrating. Like, you want to find these damn things? 
is a cognito. I have not caught one of you yet. Yeah. Oh, he's a cognito. Uh. Hey. I don't think we call Kongito yet, right? Who's new? Sorry, I, I, as usual, I don't want to waste my green for now. I know, I know, I, I, I'm quite stable to make it all, but you see, these are reasonable chances. Oh, I, I did get one. Okay, whoops. Okay, so this thing is out of the question, which sucks. Um, hmm. Damn it. Wait. Alright, nice. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, wait. Is that a... Yo, we haven't found a lore in so long. Hell yeah. So we finally found another lore. Cast away journal day 12-1. Let's go read. Survival guide. Oops. I always press survival guide. I don't know why. Cast away journal 12-1. As I approach the tower for the second time, I once again heard the sound of gunfire. It seems there are a group that are banded together and are now fighting for territory. I believe they are mostly using pearls to fight this battle. This place isn't safe. I need to be stealthy if I am to wander around here. So we get some hints, as usual, about the lore. Alright, let's see if we can't... Okay, so we're gonna try and fly our way over to... Um... Yeah, we're gonna drop by. Right. Uh, huh, now, now we're stuck. Okay, I'm a bit torn, guys. I wanna do another boss, but I also wanna explore. Like, okay, the thing is, because now we have our Van Worm, I feel like I want to explore um, a little bit more of uh, what's further up north. Okay, you know what? I, I'm not going to overthink it. We're going to go back. We are going to uh, turn today. And then we are going to head out to explore. Oh man, my house is so empty. Ugh. Oh, by the way guys, here's my plan. Um, I want to level up my base one more time. Because I realized that my next level up is going to afford me a third base. This is gonna allow me to transfer my things over to a new to the new farm uh, farm base a lot easier. So because at least at the very least I don't have to destroy the old base to make a new one. So I'm planning to just hold it out. Um and then after that do the transfer. So that's the plan for now for the base. Alright. So um this has a bit of a northwardly bit to it. What we're gonna do is we are gonna teleport here to the Mount Floppy Summit. It's top of a mountain actually. And then we're gonna pick a pick a direction and just fly, you know? That's how the best stories start. Pick a direction, just fly. Alright, so here we are. Um, hello Cinemorph. Yeah, so there is a lot of land we can explore further up. So let's hop down. There is a sulfur deposit over there. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a whole bunch of guards. Cool. Alright. Okay, so we are kind of... Oh, shoot, we're at the end. So where do we want to head from here? There is a... Oh, there's an Elizabeth. We don't have that. Guys, do you see how fast we're flying though? Like honestly, I I, I kind of slow, like low key regretted. I felt like we the proper way to have done this was to really um invest into a fast flyer, then go exploring. Like exploring is so much easier now with a flyer. Okay, I want to catch that Mosen Mosander Mos Mosander. So let's try and see if we can get. What this one wants. Oof. Hey, go away. Oh shit. No! Ah, balls. Wait, yo. Oh. Mm. I think we're having such an easy time is only because our um our fifty percent attack increase in attack is really really very strong. Right, so three percent is bullshit. Three percent is still bullshit. Oops. Twelve percent on the green. Why am I supposed to use the red? Come on, be reasonable, man. Oh yeah, no. So even the green ones are gonna be. This guy is gonna progress. You just go higher, guys. Watch. I know where this is going. Look at this. It's just gonna progressively like pop up and go higher and higher. Why does it float? I'm very confused. See guys, I'm trying, okay, I'm trying to use the green ones. Don't say I'm a cheapo. But no, of course not. God damn, look at this. This is a joke. Oh boy. 
Yeah, so I, I think I definitely need to get a lot of like those green green spheres moving. So anything that's like level 25 and above, you have kind of no choice but to use the green ones. Because, you know, they... Yeah, these things are gonna be super hard to catch. Look at this! It's a joke. Ah, balls. You're trying to roll the 13% is a joke. Come on. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna take a while. Eesh. Guys, this is the reality of the game, by the way. Yeah, an idea. Yeah, this. So we're gonna do like little pot shots, see if it improves the situation. Remember, if you don't charge your bow shot, it basically just does one damage per arrow, which might be enough. Okay, so th th it's still thirteen percent. I mean, goddamn, this is a joke and a half. Oh, nice. Oh god. Let's keep trying. A pearl so powerful is hard to believe. In one experiment, this pearl tore through 300 sheets of paper at once. It's only by some miracle that this pearl isn't a meat eater. <laughs> sure. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, you're just B guards. Okay, so so we we wasted a lot of time on that stupid thing. But once again, I I guess a part of uh, one way I like to do series is to really show you guys what the game is like. I mean, assuming you have lasted so long with with this series, um, yeah, I mean. I don't like to sugarcoat things. Certain things I'm not a big fan of in terms of like games. Uh, catch rates. Well, okay, generally anything to do with like a chance thing, I'm not a biggest fan of. Uh, I can deal with them, sure, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Oh, hello. Is that is that a mod? Oh no, it's just you're just a plant, Jesus. You god dang it. What are you? Okay, you're just a. Oh hello. Okay, so we're kind of in foresty bits again. I mean. I don't want to say what I always say, but it's more of the same actually. A uh, bunch of. Okay, so the only thing new is Mossander, which we've already caught. Now, let's kind of go this way. Well, yeah, we're definitely going up a mountain of sorts. Yeah, most of the new mons here are Mossanders. Not sure what they're good for. Um, besides pissing me off. <laughs> oh, look at us. We, guys, the, you see the difference when you actually have a. Okay guys, so the thing is, breeding in this game is so important. Um, and the good news is they haven't made it as tedious as Pokemon, at the very least in my opinion. Like, initially the, the whole cake thing was super super tedious, until I found out that it was just an issue of like stats. Once you find a level 3 Kindling Mon, uh, you can actually make cakes real relatively quickly. Not the fastest, but you can make it not too bad. Like, like not- okay, so we're, we're in icy zones. Now I know I made the ice- um armor already but i don't want to jump into the icy zone just yet uh i want to see if we can explore this away for a bit the good news is because we're covering so much ground so quickly uh oh so good like guys honestly really invest in your like honestly even if you guys have you're at level 25 you got your first breeding pen um and then i guess you need the wheat farm as well but once you have those up, even if you don't have a Van Worm, I can imagine if you did that to a Nightwing, it would have been super fast as well. So the thing is, the base, so of course the base pal, like certain pals are going to move. Oh, hello. Black Bucketeer. Hello. You evil? Please don't eat me. Oh, this is scary. Hello. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, you. I trade in any kind of pal, whether it's stolen pals or even prohibited type. Take a look. Oh, I can buy contrabands? Oh, here! Yeah. Oh, wow! I don't know what a cryolinks is, but I want it. Oh, it cost me so much money. Shit. You know what? I want it. Like, why not? And he doesn't have a very bad like passive skill. Valet. Valet is kinda alright only. Oh, but this guy's so cool though. Do I wanna buy it or do I just wanna wait for my turn to Uh I don't know. Okay, so honestly I have not found a use for gold at this point in time. So why don't we just buy it? Alright, what do you get? It's an easy climb it can easily climb steep mountain with his hard claw, however, it's short legs make it difficult to descend, often leaving it stranded in high places. In other words, a cat. Oh wait, links. Idiot. Should we buy a valet? Do we have money? Of course we do. Let's buy it. Castle was filled with the king's favorite flowers. A great battle ensued and flames approached the castle. Amidst the chaos, the spirit of a flower appeared from the fairy tale, the king's flower. Oh. Wait, sell contraband? 
Oh damn. So we can sell duds. Ooh, I do have a lot of duds. I don't think I'll ever be buy like okay, so like we probably can sell some of these. Oh wow, okay, so you can mass sell. Yeah, I feel like I can sell so any mons with like negative stats are probably things we don't need to keep. So and chances are we won't bother trying to pass down those stats either. So we could really just sell them away. Like I like probably have a lot of van worms here that are like there we go. See this thing here. They don't I mean they don't oh wait no van worm I, I wanna oh no 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 let's not sell the van worm just yet. But there are certain pals that I know I'll probably never have. We could literally just get rid of them on this guy here. It's not bad. Okay, but let's just sell it first. We didn't we didn't earn a lot, let's be serial. I mean, ugh. Yeah. No, but at least we learned how to trade Impel and be a smuggler, I guess. I mean, it made me feel slightly bad. Like, we're literally selling souls. If we were to be very brutally honest about ourselves. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so I, I was hoping to look for a teleporter. Because the, re the reason is because I, the last thing I want is to fly back here. I mean, Jesus. Um, what we're going to do is this. We do have uh, cold resist armor. We're going to do something fun. I mean, we've had a very, very successful, like... Um, episode today, Frostbound Mountain. And the good news is our current armor does give uh, does afford us a bit of cold resist. So we might be able to survive the cold, even with our current armor. Uh, but even if we can't, then what we can do is we can swap to our cold resist armor. So let's see how... Okay, so we're getting cold. Uh, not that bad. Okay, we're definitely cold, but not... Okay, so I found a teleporter already. So that's good. Oh, we're in frosty zones, aren't we? Okay, so the good news is our armor. Oh, oh, the, oh this is where foxicles naturally are. Cool beans. Okay, so we found the land of foxicles, which makes me very happy. Help armor. Oh, hello. Rain drakes. Yo. Oh, no, no, don't, please don't eat me. Oh, come on. Why would you eat me? Ouch. Okay, so we're gonna need to kill, kill them all. Yeah, ah, uh, mmm. Oh, uh, uh, okay, nope, nope. Okay, yeah, no, this is very, very dangerous. Let's flee. We flee, guys, we flee. Remember, guys, when you're exploring, just stick to it. Okay, so the good news is we found another tower, which means that if we ever need another boss fight, Free Pal Alliance Tower. Cool. Okay. Oh shit, I just noticed the time. This episode has been way past 30 minutes. Shoots. Okay, but no, no, I think we can afford a little, a few more minutes. I'm kind of like excited to see new mons. There's a verdant egg over there which we can gacha. Not gonna say no to that. Twink. So it's, oh, it's a large verdant egg. Okay, so we'll gacha that together if we have time. Oh, hello, Swiss. So the cool, oh wait, so I see a teleporter there, but okay. There's an effigy over here as well, which I want to grab. Okay, there's another teleporter over there. So in the interest of distance, I'm going to go that direction. Because at the very least, if we unlock teleporters and spread it across, uh, coming back here to find it wouldn't be... Like, like coming back to explore more wouldn't be so bad. Um, super exciting to finally have like new lands to explore. Uh, it's always fun. So this is actually a very nice revival of the interest in exploring. Like, I think the past few episodes I've been exploring very similar lands. Um, I really needed this to kind of really just explore new new areas. Uh, this area is phenomenal, guys. Arr! Why are all the most scenic, beautiful places not nice to... Arr! There is not enough space to make a base. Arr! Why do you do this? I'm gonna take my hand out of here. Uh, why would you... Why would the, the shotgun fire fly that direction? Please, for the love of God. Don't do that. It's fun. Alright, but at least we're leveling up real quick. Okay, let's go on the ground. Oof. Youch. Stop it. Okay, so Ace is kind of almost low on the health department. Alright, nice. We learned Ignis Breath, which makes me happy. Silk Realm of the Swift. What are you? Verdash. Alright, but enough of that. We're gonna unlock the fast travel. Okay, so we've managed to open up the map. 
I, I think I already have my plan for the next episode. We're going to do an exploration here, maybe. Um, but we'll see what comes first, whether I can move my base first or whether we can explore first. Now, ideally, I will explore first because you never know. We might find a base that we like. So, But before we end the episode, we wanted gacha. So let's gacha. Uh, let's gacha the large burden egg mode. Hopefully, we get something cool. Okay, we got a Robin Quill. I can't complain. Robin Quills are great workers. I wonder what this Dark Ace is going to give me. I mean, Dark Ace is basically Dark Ace. So, it's probably a baby moon. A loop moon. Okay, I can live with that. Alright, so... <coughs> cough. Yeah, but I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I A lot of progress was made, guys. I'm super excited to keep going. Um, but yeah, I think next episode, we definitely would most likely further like open up the map. This area here is fresh areas to explore. Uh, so that will be for next episode. Or, or we could do this even. I don't even know, man. I, I'll plan it as I go along. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys in the next one.